You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough, except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou, Caillou, Caillou. I'm Caillou. <laughs> That's me. Downhill from here. It was a beautiful winter day when Caillou went to the ski hill with his family. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. Well, maybe there was a cloud or two. <laughs> Are you ready to go skiing, Caillou? Caillou was a little afraid because he had never skied before. Ski, ski, ski! Come on, Rosie, we're going to go have some hot chocolate. Now, let's put on your equipment. Why do I have to wear this? For the same reason you wear one on your bicycle. It protects your head. Uh-oh. Whoa! These boots are too heavy, Mommy. Don't worry. We won't be walking much in these boots. They're for using with skis. How? Like that. Look at Sarah. Sarah! Seeing his friend ski made Caillou want to try it right away. Sarah, wait for me! Rosie, ski? No, but you can watch from in here and be warm and cozy and drink hot chocolate with your daddy. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go. It's too high. Caillou was afraid of going up on the tow lift. He thought he would fall. But if you want to ski down, First, you have to go up. Don't worry, I'll do it with you. See, Caillou? This isn't so bad. Ah! Mommy, it's too high. Yes, but I'll be hanging on to you with this. <laughs> Hi, Caillou. to ski like Sarah. That's called the snowplow. First, you have to make a pizza slice with your skis. Like this? Yes, but you have to bend your knees a little. Like this. Oh! Ah. That's okay, Caillou. Everyone falls when they first learn to ski. Come on, try again. You have to put your skis sideways like this. Caillou wanted to show Sarah that he could do it all by himself. Uh, I don't want to ski anymore. But look, you've almost skied all the way down. Caillou was proud of himself. He may have fallen a few times, but he always got up and tried again. <sighs> I'm cold. I'm going in for hot chocolate. Ooh, me too. Rosie can't wait to go skiing when she's a little older. Oh, I wish there was some way we could all go down the hill together right now. I know how we can, Mommy. <laughs> Next stop, fun! Caillou was very excited because he was about to take a long trip on a train for the very first time. When is the train coming, Mommy? Train! It shouldn't be much longer, sweetie. Phew! These weigh a ton. We're only going away for two weeks, but we packed enough for the entire summer. Daddy! Daddy! I hear the train! It's coming! Very excited. But as he watched the train getting closer, he began to feel a little scared. Mommy! 
It's very big, isn't it? Caillou couldn't believe how big the train was. The noise frightened him. I don't want to go. There's nothing to be afraid of. Come on, it's time to get on board. Are you two coming on board? Yes, sir, we are. Well, and maybe someone should help your dad with those bags. There you go. Are you folks traveling far? We're on the train for two days. Really? And what's your name? Caillou. Well, Caillou, have you ever slept on a train before? No. You're gonna love it. You'll see, it'll rock you straight to sleep. Where are the beds? That's the best part. They magically appear when it's dark. Say sleep three times and clap your hands, and I bet you they'll show up. Really? Really. But first, I'm gonna need your tickets. Thank you. We should be leaving any minute now. I'll see you later, Caillou. Daddy, it looks like the train station is moving. It's really the train that's moving, Caillou. It just looks like it's the other way around. <laughs> Why don't we go exploring while Mommy puts Rosie down for her nap? He was so excited about exploring the train that he had a hard time keeping quiet. It's kind of hard walking in a train, oh. isn't it? Caillou thought walking on a train was like being on a ride at the amusement park. Where's the bathroom? I'm not sure, but it can't be far. Can we find one now? Caillou had never seen such a small bathroom before. He wasn't sure how anything worked. Are you okay in there? I don't know how it works, Daddy. Hey, it's just your size. Here, you press the button on the wall to flush, and don't forget to wash your hands. Caillou thought it was funny to be in such a small bathroom. It was much smaller than the one at home. Hi. Oh, hello there. And what's your name? Caillou. What do you think of my kitchen? We have a kitchen too, but it's a lot bigger than yours. Well, maybe it is, but does your kitchen travel to faraway places? <laughs> no, can't say that it does. Could you tell us where the restaurant is? There's a restaurant too? <laughs> Hi, Caillou. Boy, that looks good. So, have you been on the grand tour? Let's see, the bathroom, the kitchen, and now the restaurant. I'd call that a grand tour. You mean, you haven't been to the dome car yet? That's the best part. Caillou was having so many wonderful new adventures that he couldn't imagine what could be better than his triple brownie sundae. What's a dome car? Oh, the dome car is a wonderful place. You climb up some stairs, and suddenly it's like you're flying in a plane. A plane on the train? Next stop, the dome car. Whoa! Slow down, Caillou. You wouldn't want to get a stomachache and not be able to go flying, would you? Go on up, Caillou. Caillou huh? really wondered how a plane could sit on a train. How do we fly on a train, Daddy? Stanley was comparing it to a plane because we're above the ground and the train goes fast. Come on, you'll see. Wow, Caillou, this is beautiful. Now do you wow. see why Stanley says it's like being in a plane? Vroom, 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 vroom. Caillou pretended he was flying his very own plane. He loved watching the passing clouds out of the glass roof. Come on, Caillou, it's time for bed. I don't want to go to bed. Caillou loved being on the train so much that he wasn't quite ready for bed yet. Come in. Stanley, Mom. 
Mommy says it's bedtime, but the beds aren't here yet. Really? That's strange. Is it dark outside? Did you brush your teeth? Hmm. Well, then I think it's time for the magic words. Do you remember what we have to do, Caillou? Say sleep three times and clap my hands. Sleep! Sleep! Rosie, wait! I'm not ready! Now you and Rosie have to shut your eyes real tight, okay? <laughs> Are you ready? Now don't peek. Okay, Caillou. Now slowly say the three magic words. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Okay, Caillou. You can look now. Wow! Good night, sweet dreams. Good night, Stanley. Caillou was gently rocked to sleep by the sounds of the train rolling through the night. Under sail! It was a perfect day for a walk in the park. Boat! And it was a perfect day for sailing boats. Whee! <laughs> Not so fast, Caillou. <laughs> Hi, that's my boat. It's nice, huh? Caillou didn't really want to give the boat back. He wished he had a big boat just like it to float on the lake. I want a boat like that. You have lots of nice boats of your own at home. Come on. It's time to launch the fleet, Captain. What's the matter, Caillou? Plastic boats are for babies. I want a big boat like the one at the lake. Hop in. Can we go to the lake and watch the boats, Mommy? We're going someplace even better. You and Rosie are going to spend the day with Grandma and Grandpa. Where's Grandpa? Hi, Caillou. I'm down here trying to make room for my new workbench. Would you like to help, Caillou? It's your dad's old kiddie pool. Why, with a bit of patching up, this would be great for you and Rosie. What's in here, Grandpa? Oh, all kinds of old stuff. Maybe even dinosaur bones. You know, I bet this still has some life in it. A boat! Oh, my old boat. Your dad helped me make that when he wasn't much older than you. It's just like the ones at the lake. Let's go sail it. It's a little worse for wear, Caillou. I don't know if it'll sail. Please, Grandpa. I want to sail it now. Well, I did build it to last. I guess we could give it a try. It's working. That's all right. Every good sailor has setbacks. But if we put some work into fixing this boat up, it'll be as good as new. Caillou and Grandpa spent all afternoon working on the boat. Why don't you paint a sea for Caillou? It's perfect. Let's go to the lake now. Oh, we can't sail it yet, Caillou. We have to wait for the paint to dry. Caillou felt like the paint was taking forever to dry. Is it dry yet? I guess it's probably dry now. Yay! Oh, that's okay. We'll make our own lake. Come on. One morning, Caillou was helping Mommy make his favorite breakfast, pancakes. We need to add an egg. I can get it, Mommy. I don't see an 
bunny eggs. Uh-oh. Looks like we're out of eggs, and I can't make pancakes without an egg. This was very unlucky. Caillou had really been looking forward to those pancakes. No pancakes? No pancakes? <laughs> Let's go buy some eggs, Daddy. Good thinking, Caillou. I can be back with a dozen eggs in no time. Maybe since we only need one egg, we can borrow it from Mr. Hinkle. Why don't you go and ask Caillou? Why, hello, Caillou. Can I have an egg? Well, sure. That's a farm fresh egg. Caillou had never seen a brown egg before. Have you ever been to a farm, Caillou? Would you like to visit one? Yes! It looked like this might be a lucky day for Caillou after all. He was going to get his pancakes and maybe a trip to a farm. It's really nice of you to take Caillou to your sister's farm, Mr. Hinkle. Oh, no trouble. Sis can always use some extra help around the old place. Finish up your pancakes, Caillou. It's time to go. All done. Are you ready to be a farmer for the day, Caillou? This is where I lived when I was a little boy. Caillou had trouble imagining that Mr. Hinkle had ever been a little boy. Hi, sis. <laughs> Why, hello, Polly. And who have you got with you? This is my neighbor, Caillou. He's come to help you out and be a farmer for the day. Well, pleased to meet you, Farmer Caillou. I'm Mr. Hinkle's big sister, Nancy. Oh, Nan, you've gone and covered me in flour. <laughs> well, of course I did, Polly. I'm baking a pie. Come on in and you can help. Like this? You need more flour on your pie and less on your face. What next? We need some apples for the filling. I can get them. Um, where are they? I'll show you, Caillou. Follow me. Caillou thought if he could just jump a little higher, he could reach the apple. <laughs> Oh. Looks like you need a boost. There were so many beautiful apples. Caillou didn't know which one to pick next. How about that one? But with Mr. Hinkle's help, he picked the nicest apples on the tree for their pies. Like this? That's right. Caillou couldn't wait to taste the pie. When will it be ready to eat? Oh, not for a little while. How'd you like to help feed the chickens while it's baking? I bet you've never fed chickens before, have you? Sometimes I feed my cat, Gilbert. Well then, you're the right man for the job. Caillou didn't like the chickens chasing him. It frightened him. I guess Gilbert isn't as pushy as a bunch of hungry chickens. This will keep them away. Shoo! 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 <laughs> hey, come back! Now it was Caillou's turn to chase the chickens. I found it! Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. The egg had appeared like magic. Where did the egg come from? It came from the chicken. That's where eggs come from. This was my favorite place when I was a kid. Why? Mostly because of this swing. You're going to love it. Caillou 
was frightened by the angry cat. Gilbert never hissed at him like that. It's okay. You probably scared her more than she scared you. Look! Well, I'll be. She was just worried about her kittens. If we're very quiet, we can sit and watch for a while. Caillou had never seen such small kittens before. He thought he could watch them forever. Oh, Polly! Caillou! Come on, Caillou. Caillou liked the kitten so much, he didn't want to leave it. Can I keep the kitten, Mr. Hinkle? It's very young, and it still needs to be with its mother. And you have Gilbert waiting for you back home. Come on, I smell pie. Caillou thought it was the best pie he had ever tasted, and he made it himself. You're back. How was the farm? Caillou was a big help. He fed the chickens and picked apples and made his own pie. And I got to hold a baby kitten. Farm fresh eggs, how wonderful. No, Mommy, chicken fresh. <laughs> <laughs>